Hello Epic 7. I'm glad to see that many of you have enjoyed the new player-friendly Wyvern 13 video I made. One of the requests in the comments section was for me to make a video that bridges the gap between this new player team and the high end game gear one-shot teams in my other videos. So here's that video. This will be the lowest gear requirement, most free to play friendly one-shot video around. Credit for the concept behind this video goes to Prof Boy. Big shout out to the big brain on this guy. You can check Prof Boy out on Twitch and also give his collections of YouTube videos a view and drop the guy a sub. A link to his socials will be in the description below as well as a link to the original video of this team. Now let's talk about the team. This comp consists of Sinful Angelica who, I know, is not the most free to play friendly unit being an ML4 star, but really, if we're talking about one shot teams, she's kind of the gold standard. Next we'll be using Arya to clear the stage 1 mobs. You can acquire Arya from the story summons if you don't have her. She is such a powerful unit in PvE I really think you should consider picking her up. We'll be using Sigrid as our damage dealer, who you get from the hunt challenge event. And finally our defense breaker will be Corinne. She's a 4 star ice unit who you'll just have to obtain randomly from summons. Let's talk about the gear. This is a very unique Sinful Angelica in that she barely has gear on at all. Unlike all of the other one-shot teams, she does not need effect resistance. In fact, the only thing she does need is to be faster than Arya. You can consider leveling her S1 skill for more chances for an attack down. You see, additional debuffs make Sigrid hit harder on her S3, so you want to stack as many debuffs as possible. I put her on her EE that gives 50% more effectiveness and this allows me to run 15% effectiveness on this build to get the 65% total. Super Duper Water Shooter also gives me an additional 5-10% to depending on its level effectiveness. You can also run Midnight Bloom, in fact Midnight Bloom may be better because it gives a team wide 16% crit chance boost, makes it a lot easier to build the damage that you need on the other units. Now on to Arya. Arya is the unit we will use to clear the first stage mobs. The build for Arya looks pretty high end, but upon closer look you'll see it's really not that bad. She has a level 85 weapon and ring, and a level 78 helm. Although she's a defense scaler, don't underestimate the impact of attack. She is a little bit overtuned for this fight. You could probably step her gear down a notch and also boost her effectiveness up a little as her S1 can blind, which is yet another debuff so 65% effectiveness is ideal. I recommend leveling her S1 all the way up for damage if you use this team. I'm missing 15% damage on her S1, so I had to make up for that with gear. Her S2 is an extra 10% crit chance, which can help with the build but isn't required, as 70% crit chance is the target, because you get 15% from Corinne and the other 15% from Elemental Advantage. Her S3 doesn't require anything at all, for an artifact, I'm using Prelude of a New Era. You can also run Portrait, Symbol of Unity, even Tonfa to boost your damage. And now we move on to Corinne, who is giving us that 15% crit chance to the back two units. Again, this Corinne looks pretty high end, but if you dive a little deeper, you'll see a level 78 weapon and level 85 armor. This gear is far from a top end set. Also, I don't have pen set on her, which would make her even better. The reason she is at this gear point is because I'm missing 30% damage on her S3, and I'm also missing 10% damage on her S2. If you skill up those levels, you can drop her gear requirement substantially. You want to run her on her number 3 EE for additional chances for debuffs. This EE gives you two chances for bleeds, and for this reason you need to have her at the 65% effectiveness mark. You'll want to run her on Warhorn because even at this slow speed, the CR push from Warhorn along with the speed buff from Singelica will allow her to cut and go first in the Wyvern phase to apply that defense break right at the start of the fight. Sigurd will be our damage dealer. Once again, the gear stat point here is not as hard to hit as it looks. I'm running her on three pieces of gear that are level 78 or under and I don't even have pen set. Goal is, of course, 70% crit chance with Corinne's buff. 
You won't need any Mola in her S2 because you aren't using it, but her S1 and her S3, you'll want to max those skills for damage. As Sigrid's damage scales with the number of debuffs and her S2 or her S1 gives bleeds, you'll want to run her with 65% effectiveness. Now, I've got 52% here, plus the 10% from Water Gun gives me 62. I could change out that speed for effectiveness to get me the last little bit, but this isn't my normal team, so I'm not going to do it. You want her on the number 2 EE that gives additional chance of bleeding when she dual attacks with Singelica, and of course Daydream Joker is the artifact of choice for maximum damage. If you have a Rage set or a Pen set, use them. It will make this run more stable. The stronger your units, the less debuffs you'll need for her to one-shot. Oh, and one last thing. Make sure you have your Hunt Pet ready to go for maximum rewards. At the start of the fight, Singelica must go first. She applies attack buff and speed buff to the whole team. Arya uses her S3, and now with the stealth, the snakes can only hit her. She counterattacks twice and sets off her murder penguin. Yes, this, this is a murder penguin, I'm convinced. This clears stage one, and you'll notice everyone else is still stealthed, and this is why you don't need effect resistance on Singelica. The Wyvern can only hit Arya, resulting in a counterattack and a possible blind. Corinne then applies her defense break, and then her S3 does a lot of damage and applies up to two additional bleeds. Dual attack with Singelica has a chance to apply two more bleeds from Sigrid, and then Sigrid drops her S3 for tons of damage. I had six debuffs in that fight. I found that with this build, I need six debuffs to guarantee the kill. When I had five debuffs, it still cleared, but it required one extra hit. Although if I molded Corinne's S3, that would have solved that issue as well. Here is a run with five this debuffs, and end. as you can see, it didn't quite kill, but Arya finishes it all off, finishes it off along with the bleeds. Now remember, I'm running without 30% crit damage from Corinne's S3 and 10% on her S2, and I'm also running with no pen set on any units. If I switched to a Rage Set build that I showed earlier, this would have been a full clear with even fewer debuffs. The stronger you build your cigarette, the stronger you build the units, the fewer debuffs you'll need to guarantee the one shot. I rate this anywhere between a 75 to 85% success rate, which is pretty good for your first one shot team. I hope this helps all of you with your mid to late game wyvern farming needs. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section or join my discord. And remember to smash like, smash subscribe, smash the bell, smash it harder than Arya smashed this wyvern fight. Have a great one everybody.